Grade 6 math number 11.7, polygons on the coordinate plane. To plot a rectangle, we need the points of the four vertices, the ordered pairs which indicate their location on the grid. If we looked at these four points and we knew that we were trying to plot a rectangle, would you be able to tell where the next point was supposed to go? Can you see it? When we don't have all the necessary information, we can use our knowledge of quadrilaterals to help us. Well, rectangles have four sides, four 90-degree angles, four vertices, and two pairs of parallel sides. So, if it's got two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles, do you think that this right here would be the spot for the next point? That would be on the x-axis, it would be on the 8, and on the y-axis, it would be on the 9. So the ordered pair would be 8, 9, wouldn't it? And that would, be num that would be D. So we could actually plot D at 8, 9 and connect them with a ruler and see that we've got it right. And it follows the rules for the quadrilateral. For the rectangle, there's two parallel sides. It's got 90 degree angles. See? So by following this, it helped. Now we could also look at the ordered pairs. If you didn't notice, they could help you too. Now this is a little more advanced, but looking at the ordered pairs, we can see that X was on 8 for the first point, and it's showing us that 8 was point A, and this was the missing one. And it, we knew if it was a rectangle that it would have to be on 8, see? And then it shows that C is on 9, see? So we could take these two coordinates, this 8 and this 9 from A and C, and figure out that D was 8, 9, see? All right. Now we've got one that looks like this with the X and the Y axis, and it says find the missing vertex and then graph. Three vertices of parallelogram JKLM are P, negative 2, 3, K, 6, 3, L is 4, negative 3. Give the coordinates of vertex M, the missing one, and graph the parallelogram. All right, so we gotta think. The first thing we've gotta do is plot the given points. That's number one, all right? So P is negative 2, 3, and X is first, right? So we need X is negative 2. All right, so that's going to be over here. And then Y is 3. So now we're right here. Whoops, and that's supposed to not be P. That's supposed to be a J, isn't it? All right, so that's J. Sorry, because we're doing J, K, L, M, J, K, L, M. All right. Now we need to do K, which is 6, 3. All right, 6 on the X would be over here, and 3 would be right here. All right, so we got to label them, too. This is J, and that's K. And then L is 4 on the X and negative 3 for Y. So it's 4 for the X but negative three for the Y, so it's down here. And that is point L, okay? All right, well, look what we're making here. It says it's a parallelogram. Well, if this is a parallelogram, that means that the sides have to be parallel, don't they? So let's connect J and K and let's connect K and L. So if this is a parallelogram, where are the other lines supposed to be? All right, let's read number two. The opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and congruent. Since the length of side KL is six units, one, two, three, four, five, six, the length of side MJ must be six units. Okay, so wherever M is to J must be six units. So 
We start at J and count down six units. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That puts us at this line right here. Okay. Count how many units side KL is leaning. See, because it's leaning. So how many units over is it leaning? All right, so it's on six and it's leaning one, two onto four, isn't it? So it's leaning over two. So count over the to the left two units and plot point M. All right, so we know it's on this line and if it was directly straight down from J, it would be here. But we need to move over to one, two. And to double check it, we can count how many units over this one is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we know that that is M. And now we can connect them all. See? We draw the parallelogram and we make sure that the drawing matches the criteria for par parallelograms. Are they parallel? Yup. Are they congruent? Yup. Okay, we did it right then. Now, for the labeled names of polygons, the, the labeled vertices are in alphabetical order and we should always label our vertices this way. Now, they don't have to go around clockwise. They could go counterclockwise. But if they do, they've got to be in order, okay? So, on these, I made them go around clockwise. A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S, T. But you could do A, B, C, D and go around counterclockwise. But you still need to keep them in order, okay? All right, it says plot this rectangle. Now, some of you can just look at this and say, I already know where it's going to go. And I'm proud of you, because you should be able to look at this and tell where the point's going to go. If this is a rectangle, the rules for rectangles are that they have four 90-degree angles. Just from looking at this, can you guess what the last point is? And just so you notice, I skipped every other number, because sometimes graphs do that, and I wanted to show you that. So this is 7 right here. Even though it's not labeled, it's 7, okay? So it's going to be 4 on the X and 7 on the Y, and it's going to be right here, isn't it? That would make a rectangle. 4 on the X and 7 on the Y. 4 on the X and 7 on the Y. This is Y and this is the X, right? And then that would be our rectangle. All right, this one's a little more difficult. It says AB, this line right here, is the side of a right triangle. Okay, so there's a 90 degree angle somewhere. Angle A is the right angle. Okay, so this is going to be the right angle. All right. But is it going up or going down? Angle A is the right angle, and the length of the side AC, because it's triangle ABC, we're missing C, is four units. So list all the possible coordinates for point C. Well, point A is 2, comma, 1. B is 9, comma, 1. If point C is four units away, and this is a right angle, then it could possibly be 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Right, it could be here, right? But it could also go down. One, two, three, four. It could also be here. And either way, we would have a right angle, wouldn't we? If it was this way, then our triangle would look like that. If it was down, then our triangle would be drawn like that, wouldn't it? It can't move on to this side because we need angle B and that's set. So what are the possible coordinates for angle C? It would be 2 on the X line. This is X. It would be 2 comma 5, right? And then the other possibility would be 2 comma negative 3. 
See? Because it might be this way, or it might have a transformation and flip down this way, right? Look, it looks like there's a line of symmetry coming through them, doesn't it? Okay, so those are polygons on a coordinate plane. And speaking of transformations, that's what we're going to talk about next, okay? I hope this was helpful, and I hope you were able to follow along. Keep trying, keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.